Hi everyone, June 14, 2021. I want to show you this video that I just came across and then I'm going to focus on power outages in this video. My next video will be the massive flooding, the scale of flooding, focusing on the United States, but starting it with the massive flooding in Victoria, Australia. And then I'm going to focus on the flooding in Victoria for the next video. Okay. Well, look at this. What's up, guys? I made a room called Chasing Beers, and I want to show you. I watched this uh, raw meat video a second ago, and I came in the kitchen, and I was like, well, shit, let me try it, and I've been putting a magnet all over our meat, and uh, the hamburger meat didn't do it, but the chicken meat definitely did it. I wipe it off with a paper towel. Look, here's a brand new paper towel. Wiping everything off. Right? Chicken juice is dropping out of there. Nothing fake. Look, it's all wiped off. Right? Inverted, vertical. Okay, look. I'll even put it halfway on the label. It's a little less right through the paper. And again, they're just putting little prions in here but it's enough to get to our brain to affect us. So watch, I did. Okay, I will link below. You can watch the entire video. It's uh, two minutes long, but he does several things to, you know, prove that there's nothing on that plastic that should uh, have that magnet stick to it. Yes, we have an epidemic of dementia. Alzheimer's, as my research, you cannot diagnose anybody with Alzheimer's while they're living. Uh, that's a postpartum diagnosis. Dementia. All of the metals that are in our brains, this epidemic, you know, look, we're being driven crazy here in the United States, I'm sure, in a lot of other countries. And that crazy, unfortunately, when you put crazy together with a whole lot of stress and a lot of destruction, what do you get? You end up getting a lot of people who turn violent. And that's what I'm really concerned about here. Okay, I just received this from a subscriber whose tweet or Twitter page is in a mad world. What the actual hell? Was it not enough that you tortured people back in February by intentionally turning off power and making them endure days of no heat in sub-zero temperatures? And now it's 90 degrees and grid conditions are tight. Get your effing act together. ERCOT is back in the news. ERCOT. The uh, electricity grid, Texas, they have issued a conservation alert. Texans are being asked to safely reduce their electric use. Yep, go to the ERCOT. Oh, there are some people who really post very funny things on Twitter and other places, but <laughs> y'all better figure that shit out. <laughs> Yeah, ERCOT. But people are not happy. Tight grid conditions expected due to high number of forced generation outages. Look out, Texas. One of the uh, responses here, I guess Texas is now California. And, of course, they're calling for power outages in California. It's fire season. Well, this is our life now. Can't count on anything. You know, it's unbelievable. Get your crap together, ERCOT. Well, they won't because all of this is deliberate. All of this is to cause anxiety, stress, um, to get people angry, and to get you conditioned to 
never relying on anything again. There is no more security. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to Venezuela. Oh, right, that inflation, that, wow, a whole lot on YouTube. They are. Those like um, Gregory Manorino, Jeremy Babe, uh, GPS, economics, oh, I can't remember. But they're all talking about the inflation skyrocketing. I hope you're prepared. Rubbish. I sincerely hate that this is even a thing. Like, honestly, why isn't it a bipartisan issue that ERCOT should join the national grid and prevent all of this? But it's not. Yeah, look, this is intentional. I hope a lot of people get it. Well, it's very hot, very hot, very hot in Arizona. I think I saw somewhere that it was 115 degrees in places in Arizona. Isn't it a little bit too early in the year for that kind of temperature? So, yes, here we go. Texas grid operator urges electricity conservation through Friday as temperatures rise and many power generators are offline. Uh, Texas's main power grid struggled to keep up with the demand for electricity Monday, prompting the operator to ask Texans to conserve power until Friday. Request comes at a time of heightened anxiety around electricity following the state's catastrophic February power outages that left millions without power for days to freeze and have their pipes burst and s approximately 700 people died. Wow, that's quite a kill off. I would say that that is a mass shooting. Approximately 11,000 megawatts of generation is offline for repairs or enough power for 2.2 million homes on a hot summer day. Well, power outages planned. Now, I'm not sure. Uh, I think this is New York, but it could be. It could be um, Massachusetts, Garfield, Farmington, Belmont, Elberton. Surrounding areas in Whitman County will experience a planned power outage this evening for maintenance from 10 p.m. until 6 a.m. Friday. Oh, I'm sorry. This is May 27. Okay. Um, it came up in that feed, you know, for you know, some mainstream media, <clears throat> media articles that you are searching you'll see that it comes up in a search for a date that is not the actual date. So you got to pay careful attention, which I just did not do. But May 27th, okay. Planned power outages. Planned. No power from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Um, for routine maintenance. I have never heard of this. I have never experienced this in my entire life living here, that there were planned power outages for maintenance. Have you? Uh, maybe in the recent years you've experienced it. The recent years are very different from years gone by. Um, new company, same woes, Puerto Rico suffers power outages. Man, I wish you were independent, Puerto Rico, because, well, I guess there's no place that is. The whole world is so friggin' corrupt. Every government, Puerto Rico's government, a private company that took over power transmission and distribution in Puerto Rico this month has struggled with widespread outages and growing anger as it scrambled to control a fire that left hundreds of thousands of clients in the dark. 
That was just this week. Outages had affected more than 1 million customers so far this month, not counting those affected by the explosion and fire at a main substation in the capital of San Juan. That was this week. Around 700,000 clients were without power at the height of the outage. At least 400,000 remained without electricity late Thursday. And if somebody wants to do the research to find out, do what's happening right at this moment, please leave a comment below with that information. This has turned into chaos. Mayor of the western town of San Sebastian. I could not believe it, he said. A company that has been here just days? Puerto Ricans have complained that when they call the company, they are placed on hold for hours with no response. Hmm. How about you guys on the mainland? Calling a company and you get no response? Or you get that stupid automated you know, uh, message? Hang on. Sorry. So, yeah. Um, and the information that regardless of what it, a power outage or your, um, you know, calling a company about a product, it, it doesn't matter. You get these ludicrous explanations that make no sense. Have you experienced any of that? Okay. Um, or you get just infuriating Met, you know, I keep getting these phone calls from all these different numbers, and I have no clue who they are, what's going on. Um, anyway, so, yeah, that only makes matters worse. Communication is a really good thing. When you're clear and direct and you tell people the truth, it mitigates the stress and the anger. Why don't people do that? But that that just doesn't, you know, I'm not talking about just corporations or companies or utility, you know, uh, companies. I'm talking about everybody. It seems to me that a whole lot of people just don't know how to do that. So they increase stress, they increase this confusion, and, you know, you're... So, man, it drives me nuts. Placed on hold for hours with no response. Hmm. The outages could be acts of sabotage or instances of too many people using the system at one time. <laughs> really? Luma reported that its website became the target of a cyber attack. Well, isn't that convenient? Oh, wait, no, a coincidence. Power outages, now their website hit with a cyber attack. Oh, right, that cyber attack simulation coming up in July. Have you looked into how many cyber attacks the United States is experiencing? We are in for living life like we never have before. All of us, Puerto Ricans, Mainlander, Mainlanders, uh, Hawaii, I just saw an article last night, Hawaii, militarized Hawaii. Oh boy, a lot going on. All right, um, so yeah. Cyber attack hit their website saying that the two million hits per second it was receiving was preventing customers from accessing the site. Government officials have urged patience. Well, you know what, government officials? Patience runs out. Oh, it's a consortium. It's a consortium, Luma. It's made up of Calgary, Alberta based ACO and Quanta Services Incorporating Incorporation of Houston. Ah, it will operate the transmission and distribution system under a 15-year contract. Aren't you happy? Ah, such a beautiful island of Puerto Rico. 
and so many have to suffer. Suffer due to corruption, evil. So if you do a power outage on Google and then uh, do that, what's it called? Um, I went through a lot of pages. Here. Power outages. You get the top stories. Oh, cause of Idaho Falls power outage determined as lights are turning back on. Okay, you can check out what their determination was. But there's an awful lot. Power producer outages. High temps lead ERCOT to ask Texans to conserve electricity. Neighbors concerned after multiple power outages throughout weekend. This is happening all over the country. Widespread power outages in Rock Bridge, Rock Bridge County due to storms, strong storms roll through Pittsburgh, downed power lines and power outages. Oh, those strong storms. PG&E issues warning of potential power outages during fire season. The West Coast facing power shortage this summer. Okay, um, if you click on view all, you'll see, oh wow, El Paso, uh, power producer outages, high temps, or cot, well, I think you're going to be suffering those power outages. You won't be freezing. But you sure will want that air conditioning. <sighs> Illinois. Champaign. Concerned after multiple power outages throughout the weekend. San Juan substation causes massive blackout. <sighs> West Seattle Junction power outage. It's a deja vu. Your security system may not work in a power outage. High winds lead to broken trees. Power outages Thursday in Cody. You know, trees are coming down all over. Squirrel Hill businesses and traffic adjust to power outages following storms in Pittsburgh. This three hours ago, one hour ago, Madison community seeking frequent power outages from storms or seeing, seeking, sorry, seeing. Oh boy, Green Bay experiencing power outages. Storm leads to power outages. Virginia, Roanoke, Meriden, Mississippi, power outages. Power outages, power outages. We can't have, nor we, we just don't have the weather we used to have, right? Uh, winds and rain, they, it didn't bring about all of these power outages that seem to be happening on a, well, uh, increasingly. And it's only going to get worse. But when you don't have any national mainstream media covering the big picture of what's taking place, no one really knows. Oh, I have an outage. Big deal. You know, where I lived in South Carolina, the apartment complex had, from the time that I lived there, and it was, I think, three years, I think we had four or five power outages. And most people had no clue what was going on. I, I remember one, and it was lengthy, because of a huge storm. But the others, everybody was like, what, what's going on? Why? You know, you get a little bit of rain and uh, hardly any wind, and suddenly your power goes out. And yes, due to 
the number of evil people working the agenda to bring in this new world order, to bring us all down, to destroy the middle class and the upper middle class and the lower middle class and bring us all down to a very low class so that, well, they have an equitable outcome. Um, I now, I don't see any of this as an accident. It's not even an accident when you've got the trees toppling on power lines because of all of the massive spraying of the heavy metals, all of the toxic ingredients in the spraying that has been going on for a very long time. Increasingly so, the trees all over the place are so weak their immune systems have been pretty much destroyed. So that's why the trees are just toppling over. God, doesn't this make you a little angry? Prepared for outages. Rocky Mountain Power grips Utah. Yeah, you can prepare for your outages during the high temperatures. This never happened before. Never happened before. So Philadelphia and Kansas and Lansing, um, Michigan. Lansing is in Michigan, right? Lansing, yes, of course. It's the capital, Carol. Okay. Appalachian Power estimates that 20,000 customers are without power. Great. West Virginia. Okay, well, you just go through page after page after page, and you will get local, though sometimes when you click on something, you will get something that says, oh, wrong date. Okay. Um, I would really suggest that you get what you need so that you're as comfortable as possible during a power outage and get what you need for a power outage that's sustained for a while. You know, I just recently experienced a power outage here in Montana. I have nothing, nada, nothing. Well, I had to leave South Carolina where I had everything. Now I have nothing. You don't want to be caught in that circumstance because it's not comfortable. Oh man, I hope you're you're all okay. Ciao guys.